some cheesy lasagna. Yes, we're absolutely having some cheesy lasagna. Okay, so we're mixing our ground beef. Actually, I have turkey, ground turkey, and ground beef mixed in my meat portions. And I added some garlic and onions and all kind of different seasonings. Now, you guys can add the seasonings of your choice, but I add some garlic salt. Some slap your mama seasoning, <laughs> a little salt and pepper, and um, I think some lemon pepper. Anyway, so we're gonna cook our meat completely until we're satisfied with the color or we feel like that it's been cooked completely through. And here is our noodles. We've had them broiling just a few minutes because all it takes is a few minutes to get those noodles right. We don't want to have them too soft because they rip and they tear. Now here I am mixing the meat again and now I'm about to add my sauce. And I use sandwich and also traditional or bailey sauce, basil sauce. Any sauce is of your desire. Whatever your taste bud desire, that's the sauce you add. But this is what I add in my simply plain Jane lasagna. Okay? So we're gonna mix the sauce in. And we're gonna cook it into the meat so that it can marinate all the way through and get submerged in the meat properly so them two become one, you guys. But that's exactly what we're trying to do. Combine our meat and sauce in so that they become one. So right here is when I decided that I didn't have enough sauce, so I decided to add some more so I can make my lasagna as saucy as possible. Honey, yes, saucy, let's make it saucy. Okay, like plain Jane. <laughs> so we're gonna stir it up and then we're gonna get over here to the noodles. Now, I've glazed my pan with some butter, you guys. So, just a side note. Okay, just a side note. Yeah, look at that meat bubbling up. Cooking good, honey. Let's marinate, you guys. Let's mix well. Okay. So now let's do the noodles. We're gonna line our pan with our noodles. You can put butter, um, you can kind of glaze your pan with butter if you decide to. If not, it's fine if you don't. I just like to do it like that because I don't like stuff sticking to my pans. So, yeah, as you can see, the noodles are very slippery. 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 <laughs> They're very slippery. Of course. We're gonna line our pan with three. And you guys don't wanna drop it. Well, if you do, doesn't matter. Just get another one because your girl dropped it, honey. Then I'm gonna let it sit there for a minute before I get it up because, honey, I was trying to just get this video done, you guys, for you guys. Okay, so normally I would line my pan, line my um, noodles with cheese first, but unfortunately I was moving fast. And uh, apparently I got a little frustrated that I dropped the noodles, so I just threw the meat in there. But you're going to see I'm going to add the cheese around the meat and then just spread it out. I don't know why, but I like to put my cheese in first. It seems like it keeps the meat from just coming out of the uh, <laughs> noodles that we have just created. Okay, anybody got time for that? Anybody got time for that? So, I spread my meat all the way around, 
And then I'm gonna add some cheese on top of my meat. Oh, that meat look good, honey. Look good already. And so I cover this first layer with cheese and meat. Cheese and meat. Same thing for each layer, you guys. Back and forth, cheese and meat. Cheese, meat, and the noodles. Cheese, meat, noodles. Cheese, meat, noodles. But I would normally do cheese, meat, cheese, noodles. Cheese, meat, cheese, noodles. Okay, but you girls started a different way this time. Okay. I'm trying to rush. So, we're going to add the next layer of noodles. And here it is. As you can see, the cheese is already melting through because the noodles are hot. Now I am doing it the way I normally do. I will add the cheese first. And then I add the meat on top of the cheese and then some more cheese and then the noodles. Okay. And here I just decide to just go ahead and just push it out the pan, honey. If I got time for layer for layer with this spoon, honey, and enough coming out. But anyway, <laughs> so let's spread our meat. And then we're gonna layer it with cheese again. You can see the onions and the garlic and the tomatoes and the basil and everything popping through. Looks so delicious. And the kids will adore this, you guys. They will adore it. My kids, my grandbabies, and my smaller children tore it up. Easy, simple lasagna. Easy, cheesy, simple lasagna, I should say. So we're gonna keep layering it with our cheese, meat, and noodles. Keep watching, guys. And if you made it to this point in the video, why not subscribe? Go ahead and leave your girl a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about this easy, cheesy, simple lasagna with your girl, my friend Jane Wright. Okay? Okay. Now, this is my third layer, honey. So, of course, I'm not going to put any noodles on top of it. Oh, my God. Look at those onions and garlic. Oh my God. Okay, so the third layer, the last layer. Sometimes I have four layers. But this is the third layer and the last layer. So I'm just gonna layer it with cheese, honey, and stick it in the oven. Okay? Okay. Now, when you put it in the oven, you wanna have your oven at 350 degrees, honey. And you wanna let it sit in the oven no more than 15 to 20 minutes. Because that cheese will melt and you don't want it to. You just want it righteous, honey. In 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, it's righteous. Okay. And this is the lasagna, you guys. Once it's done, all cheesy and good. Let me show you the size of it. cheesy goodness so if you like this video try to make it at home it's simple it's easy it's good and the kids about to munch on it so thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do so now don't forget to leave the thumbs up One time.